this video, I want to discuss just a little bit about the intersection of faith and journalism. And specifically, we're going to, we're going to discuss this in terms of Christianity and journalism and, and uh, you know, Christians being journalists and things like that. You know, I, I've been a music fan for a long, long time. Love music. I've always loved music. And in the more recent years, with the explosion of information available about bands and information about people in those bands, I've, I've been fascinated with the stories of bands like Switchfoot and Lifehouse and, and bands like that who are uh, who've been labeled as Christian bands, even though they're not Christian bands. They're 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 as as the lead singer from Switchfoot once explained it as well as anybody I've ever heard. He said, "We are Christians who are in a band." We're not a Christian band, you know, and, that, and I think Christianity infuses everything that they do, but they're not. What they were saying is that we're just a band. We're a band made up of people who happen to, to have the Christian faith and that, of course, guides us. But we're not a Christian band. And, and that's really more of a, a sort of a new era problem or a new era issue for bands. When, again, this explosion of information is available. One of the most famous bands in the world uh, has been U2 for years, right? I mean, they're kind of gone by the wayside recently but for years and years u2 was maybe the biggest band in the world and nobody talked about the fact that three out of the four guys were christians born again christians and that you can obviously hear that faith coming through their music but but they weren't labeled as a christian band just because three out of the four guys were, were christians unlike some of these newer groups and I, you know i bring that discussion up because i think the same thing really comes into play when people talk about journalism uh, journalists and can christians be journalists or do they have to be christian journalists can you just be a journalist even though you're a christian or do you have to be a christian journalist do you have to write for a christian publication do you have to cover everything from you know, a Christian perspective and things. And I think that's a fair question, but the reality is there are a multitude of journalists who are Christians who don't work for Christian publications and, and you know, and are still very good journalists and also uh, really, you know, good Christians. And I use that term, I should put that term in quotes, maybe, you know, good Christians we know, but good people, good good Christians, good people of faith who are also very good journalists. And, uh, and, and you may not even know it. It's not that they're hiding it, but they, they may not uh, have, uh, you know, really put that on the forefront because it, it, for a variety of reasons. So we're going to talk about some of the ways that, that Christianity and, and journalism kind of intersect. And so first of all, I want to point to some very evident things, which should be these shared values. In a lot of ways, journalism is grounded in the Christian faith. You know, the most, the earliest forms of journalism, and throughout the years, really, uh, different forms of journalism have been grounded in Christianity, have been, uh, or at least been grounded in uh, a faith-based effort, right? Something that has been used to project um, and, and to, to uh, kind of propagate a faith or a, a certain belief system. So, so journalism and Christianity actually share a lot of values uh, together. So uh, a couple of those include, first of all, truth and honesty. We covered ethics and journalism. We know that truth and honesty are important ethical considerations for journalists, right? Regardless of your faith, if you are a journalist, you are seeking the truth and you are trying to perpetuate that information with as much honesty as you can. At least, again, good journalists, that's what they do. If they're following that code of ethics, good journalists pursue truth and honesty. And we know uh, as Christians that that's part of our faith as well. Right. I mean, you could start with just the ninth commandment. You know, you shouldn't bear false witness against your neighbor. Uh, so the ninth commandment starting there tells us that truth is important. But even, you know, you little fast forward a little bit in the if you want to get into the New Testament side of things in Ephesians, Paul tells us, therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to his neighbor, for we are all members of one body. So as Christians, we are called to a to a life of truth and honesty as well so we have this overlapping right journalists and christianity journalism and christianity have that overlapping shared value of truth and honesty they also have a, a shared value of, of a voice for the voiceless we know that one of the purposes of journalism one of the one of the key guidelines here is to provide a voice for the voiceless to stand up for and provide a voice to those who might not otherwise be heard right well we also know that's one of the tenets of christianity right so what did jesus tell us in matthew 25 40 whatever you did for the least of these brothers and sisters of mine you did for me we are called as christians to stand up and be a voice for the voiceless to be the hands and feet of christ by providing not only for their physical and spiritual needs but providing that voice for them to stand up for them to take a stand for them right and to do things for the least of us so uh, Christianity and, and journalism share that value as well as, as providing a voice for the voiceless. 
in addition, journalism is sort of, you know, in a sense, they're out to reveal evil, right? They're, they're, they're investigative journalism in particular seeks to, you know, uncover these the evil parts of the world and the dark corners, right? Where, uh, so, so that we can expose these bad things that are happening. That's part of investigative journalism in particular, right? It's to reveal that kind of evil. And, and, we do that in Christianity as well. We have the story of Jesus clearing out the temple, uh, clearing the, the money changers out of the temple, right? And getting righteously angry about that and, and just telling them, you know, that this this place shall be a house of prayer, not something that, that's going to be evil. So he was, you know, kind of revealing the evil there. Now, I'm not in any way implying that we are on the same level as Jesus, of course. You know, he has a much better uh, you know, kind of, evil revealing sense than we do uh, certainly but that doesn't completely let us off the hook either right so we have this from titus uh, 2 which says for the grace of god has appeared bringing salvation for all people training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled upright and godly lives in the present age waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people uh, for his own possession, who are zealous for good works. Declare these things, exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no one disregard you. So I don't want to minimize the middle part of that, but I really want to focus on the beginning and the end of this passage. So here we're finding that we have received this training from God. When the Spirit dwells within us, right, we, we have the ability the, the, through that Spirit, not of our own doing, not of, not of anything we can do, but through God, he, is, he's, he manifests himself in us through the Spirit in such a way that allows us to renounce ungodliness and worldly possessions and live self-controlled and, and upright lives and and basically to he gives us the tools we need to spot evil and to resist evil and to call evil out okay not to say again not to say we aren't sinners we absolutely are and we have that evil within us but but we are called as christians as people who now have received that that gift from god we are called to call evil out when we see it and to do something about it Right? We, we are to declare these things. We are to exhort and rebuke with authority and let no one disregard us. And that's what we do as journalists, too. We, we, are, we are declaring these things are evil. This is bad. This is bad news. This is not good. And we ought to do something about it. And we're not going to let anybody disregard us. With that, right? So we have this shared value of revealing evil. And finally, journalists, you know, they're really responsible to a higher authority. That's why you have, and by that higher authority, I mean their audience and then, and then the public. So uh, that's why you see you know, journalists standing up to, to people in power and to people in authority, even at the cost of their own, you know, livelihood or well-being or even their lives, right? So uh, they stand up to this because they have a higher authority, and that is the reading public, that is the, the, the audience for their... Uh, materials, right? And of course, we know that we have uh, a, a higher authority as well, certainly, you know, for all things, uh, for by him all things are were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. We find that from Colossians uh, chapter 1, verse 16, right? So we have a higher authority as Christians, and we also have a higher authority as journalists, right? And a calling to respond to both of those. So there are a lot of shared values. This is just a few of them, but there's a lot of shared values um, between the, the practice of journalism and being a Christian. So with that in mind, then, what is our vocational calling? And I think journalism is really a vocational calling, just in the same way that, you know, people tend to think of, well, when you're called to be a pastor or, or you know, called into ministry, that's a vocational calling, right? Yes, absolutely, it is. But so is being a journalist. If you're called there, and if God is calling you to any vocation, then that is a vocational calling. Okay? So we need to think about, what if we're being called to journalism, what does that vocational calling mean? Well, first of all, for us, it means that we better prepare to build some character. And by that, I mean, you know, from this passage in Romans, we know that, that we're going to suffer. We know that as Christians in general, we're going to suffer. But, it's, you know, when you put yourself in the public like that as a journalist, you're going to suffer for sure. And especially if you're, you know, kind of um, publicly a Christian, 
journalist, you're certainly going to suffer. But we know that that suffering, through omens, we know that that suffering produces, produces perseverance. We know that perseverance produces character and character hope and so forth. So we better prepare to build uh, some of this character as part of this vocation. We also need to do good work. And by that I mean we need to be the best journalists that we possibly can, uh, just as we need to be the best at any vocation that we're being called to. So in you know, Colossians, we see whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. So whatever our job is, wh whether we're you know, sweeping the streets or whether we're a journalist, whether we're president of the United States, whatever it is, we better do that as well as we can. That's what we're called to do. We're called to do good work. We're also called to do godly work. Whatever we're doing, again, we need to do it for the Lord. We need to, whether we're eating or drinking or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. And there are ways that we can serve God through journalism without writing about religion, without writing about faith, but just by doing those things we talked about, by giving a voice to the voiceless, by revealing evil, by doing all those things and doing it not with ourselves in mind, but with others in mind and ultimately with God in mind. Because if we don't do it, if we do anything outside of, of the Lord, then we're never going to find joy there. But we need to do godly work. Okay, so hopefully that you know kind of adds to your your mindset in terms of can Christians be journalists and be effective journalists? Certainly they can, uh, and they can be great journalists, and many of them are. So if you have any questions about the content or about anything else related to this topic, please feel free to email me at jrocky, uh, and uh, and or, you know just feel free to send me an email. Thanks. And in the meantime, go out and pursue your faith through that. Uh, through that calling.